Welcome to Evangelistic Outreach Ministries. The fields are white, all ready to harvest. Oh. For over half a century, the Evangelistic Outreach team has traveled across the street, about the nation, and around the world with the gospel message. We're dedicated to the vision of our late founder, Dr. Calvin Evans, to reach the unreached for Jesus Christ. May the love of Christ touch you, and may His Word teach you today on Evangelistic Outreach. Well, what can we say but thank you for taking the time to join us today on Evangelistic Outreach Ministries. We're going to be going back to a message we started last week from Calvin Ray Evans from the Spring Jubilee entitled The Boundary of the Blood. You don't want to miss a minute of that, and we'll share with you some singing as well from the Spring Jubilee. We'll tell you more about that here in just a little bit, but please join us in prayer and we'll ask God to bless this program today. Father, we come to you and we humbly bow before you asking for your blessing and for your power today. Lord, we need it. Uh, we need your power and we need your spirit to help us, to lead us and to guide us. And Lord, we're, we're so thankful that you are there with us. Your word tells us that you never leave us, you never forsake us. And that's a great promise that we can hold on to today. Uh, Lord, what a privilege it is to be able to spread the good news of Jesus Christ to the home and the hearts of millions of people across this country and all over the world. And I ask, Lord, that you pour out your spirit upon us today. Bless the message. Bless the singing. Touch the discouraged saint. And, Lord, those that need you in their life as a personal Savior, I pray the convicting power of God would come down and help them to realize they need the blood of Christ applied to their life. And Lord, may someone accept you today and we'll praise you for it all in Jesus' name, amen. Well, during the Spring Jubilee, we had a tremendous time and the Spring Jubilee Choir just did an outstanding job this year. And uh, we're gonna go to a special song called I'm Redeemed with featured soloist Jeff Dickens. We hope it's a blessing to you today. I'm Yes, I'm redeemed, I am redeemed. Come on, Lucasville, let's praise the Lord, amen. Yes. I'm redeemed, yes, I'm redeemed by the blood that Jesus shed for me because he washed away my sin. Is pre 
preparing to fulfill God's mighty master plan. And when that trumpet sounds, we'll hear the angels sing. Here comes that precious blood wash band. I hear that band. I'm redeemed. Yes, I'm redeemed. By the blood that Jesus shed for me. Cause he washed away my sin. I'm redeemed by God's grace. I'll be eternally. I'm redeemed. Oh, I'm redeemed. Yes, I'm redeemed. How about you, choir? Are you redeemed tonight? Oh, I'm redeemed. Yes, I'm redeemed. Oh, by the blood that Jesus shed for me. Oh, yes, He washed away all my sin. said I'll go prepare a place for you but I won't leave my children here alone I'll send the Holy Spirit to comfort you and guide you through your life's journey home listen I know right now that heaven is preparing to fulfill God's mighty master plan and when that trumpet sounds we'll hear the angels sing
tonight you're redeemed. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I am. Oh, yes, I am redeemed. Thank you, Lord. Well, praise the Lord. Aren't you thankful you are redeemed? We are redeemed. There's only one way we are redeemed, and that's by the blood of Jesus Christ. And you'll notice a theme throughout this month's free gift offer, which is entitled The Bloodline. It's from uh, the Spring Jubilee. And what a great week we had. As Calvin Ray mentioned last week, 1,104 average attendance, 10 people saved. The services, uh, you just had to be there to understand how the services made such an impact and an influence on those that were there. God did some miraculous things during that Spring Jubilee. And we want, you, we want to give you the opportunity uh, to relive or maybe to experience some of those services. Calvin Ray preached a couple of messages during the Spring Jubilee uh, with the theme of the blood and, and uh, the genealogy of Christ. And we wanted to share those with you in a special package entitled The Bloodline. You'll receive the message that we're featuring today entitled The Boundary of the Blood, talking about David and Goliath, about Ephestamine. And uh, you'll understand what I'm referring to when you, when you listen to the message. But Satan can only go so far. and He cannot cross the bloodline. And we're so, th that's just a shouting point right there, isn't it? And then the other message, whose son is he? And Calvary does a detailed, in-depth study about the genealogy of Jesus Christ. And uh, you'll just have to watch it to experience uh, how God puts his word together and how there is no coincidences or accidents when it comes to the word of God. And you'll know exactly whose son he is after you listen to this powerful anointed message. There's also singing from the primitives, the Parsons family, Mike Blanton and Evidence, the Spring Jubilee Choir. And it's entitled The Bloodline. You'll have it available on a DVD or audio CD. And when you contact us this week, let us know which format you prefer and we'll get it right out to you. Our toll-free number is one 800 767-8713. You can also visit our website and order it at calvinevans.org or please take the time and write us a letter and request it at 299 Ohio Avenue, New Boston, Ohio, 45662. And we do need to hear from you. We need your prayers. We need your financial support. As we've mentioned the last few weeks, summer is a difficult time on ministries and we need you to stand with us during these times to get us through these summer months. And please pray about supporting the upcoming Calvin and Doris Evans Memorial Camp Meeting, September the 5th and the 6th at Christ Temple Church in Huntington, West Virginia. Calvin Ray gave you some details last week on how on Thursday night specifically we're having the McCamies and the Primitives on one night. Then on Friday night, a very special evening uh, with our camp meeting friends. And we'll give you more details in weeks to come, but we want you to mark your calendars for those special special nights there at the Calvin and Doris Evans Memorial Camp Meeting. And again, thank you for your support. Thank you for your prayers. There's simply no way we could do it without the Lord Jesus Christ. We couldn't do it without his blood and we couldn't do it without your prayers and your support. So thank you for all that you do for us. Well, let's go right back into the message that we started last week entitled The Boundary of the Blood. Now, for some reason, I don't know why, but this is missed so often. The comfort comes from which side that you're on. If you know your position and your place in God, it gives you comfort in the face of an enemy. And the key word is one place in this. That word is afes damim. Afes damim. Here they were. And the giant would come out day after day and say, give me a man that I may fight. Now, as big as they were and as afraid as the children of Israel were, why didn't they just go on over and take them? I can tell you exactly why. Ephes damim. The word ephes damim literally means the boundary of the blood. That's what the name means. In other words, they were afraid to cross the bloodline. So when you face an enemy, your victory and comfort comes in one fact. Which side of the bloodline are you on? If you're on the right side of the bloodline, you can look the devil in the eye and say, no siree, I know where I'm at and I know where I belong. 
and he knew the enemy could not cross the bloodline. Literally, that ground two things. It's blood red, and second of all, so much blood of the Philistines had spilled there that they knew that if they crossed that, it was certain death. So they were afraid to cross the bloodline. We sit around and we hold our hands and we tremble in fear over the power of the devil. Well, it's right. We are no match for the devil within ourselves. But can I tell you, he is no match for Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. It all lies in the fact where you're at. Which side of the bloodline are you on? <laughs> How many of you ever been sick? How many of you made it through your sickness because you knew you were on the right side of the bloodline? By his stripes, we are healed. Preacher stopped me years ago in the hallway. He said, do you really believe all that stuff? I said, what stuff? He said, I heard you in there praying with that person and you just prayed like God could come right down there with this critical disease they've got and take it all away. He said, do you really believe that? I said, why, sure. And he said, well, not me. He said, I'm smarter than that. And you know what I told him? I said, your only problem is you've never been sick enough. You get sick enough, you'll start pleading the blood of Jesus Christ and realizing that the only thing that spared your life is you were on the right side of the bloodline. Is there anybody here tonight that when the doctor said it looks bad and there's, there's no chance you can survive it, no way you can make it, but you were on the right side of the bloodline and you're here as a testimony tonight to say, I'm still here, I'm still standing, I'm still going, and it's for one reason, it is the power of the blood. Praise God. Glory. How many of y'all been healed of cancer? Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Don't you know that stuff's supposed to kill you? Why are you still here? One reason. I've seen too many people take the treatments and die. You're here for one reason. The blood of Jesus Christ. Thank God by his stripes we are healed. Praise God. Glory to God. Am I the only one feeling this tonight? Maybe there's some people here that you've been in some tough situations. I was at the wrong place at the right time a few weeks ago. Well, actually, it was last week. I heard some folks, uh, boy, it breaks my heart because I thought they were my friend. They didn't know I could hear them from where I was at talking to people. And they were talking to one man that was unsaved. They absolutely tore me up one side and down the other. And the bad thing is I got to preach to them every week. I'm real tempted to get in the flesh. I spent seven nights and I've not slept any more than three hours in a night, seven nights straight. But I want to tell you something. God reminded me at 2.30 this morning, you're on the right side of the bloodline. Stay with it. I want to tell you something. If you do anything for God, they're going to lie on you. They're going to tell stories about you. They're going to act like they're your friend, but they're going to hate you. They're going to despise you. But Jesus said, blessed are ye when men revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven. Some of you preachers, they threw you out for wrongful reasons. You deacons and elders, you took your stand and they got rid of you, but you're still on the right side of the bloodline. You know that you're standing for what's right. And by the way, when it comes to salvation, I'm on the right side of the bloodline. I still think it takes the blood of Jesus Christ to cleanse us of our sins. There's no other way to be saved except by a through the blood of Jesus Christ. I preached one night and 
person came up to me. They said, uh, you're all wrong. I said, wrong about what? I said, well, here you talk. You think all you gotta do is just repent and ask the Lord to come into your heart and confess your sin and Jesus would save you. I said, because that's true. No, you're wrong. That's not what we, it's not what we teach at our church and preach. I wish that I'd never ask. But I had to ask. What do you do at your church? Well, we meet about once a month. I said, we come together and we get out a great big wash tub and fill it full of water. And we gather around that wash tub. Sometimes we pray 10 minutes, sometimes 15 minutes, sometimes an hour, maybe even an hour and a half. But eventually that water will start to move. And said the first one that runs in that water and jumps in that tub of water gets their sins washed away. And they said, that's, that's preaching, that's teaching, that's right. And I said, well, I'm no Greek scholar, but I've got a Greek word for that, baloney. Nobody has ever been saved by jumping in a wash tub full of water. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Have you been to Jesus for his cleansing power? Well, there is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. Thank God there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins and sinners plunge beneath that flood lose all their guilty stains at the end of life I can say thank God I'm on the right side of the bloodline Is there anybody here tonight on the right side of the bloodline? The devil's calling you out right now, saying you're not saved, you're not right with God. You know what you ought to do? You ought to stand up right now and say, glory, I'm saved. Glory, I'm saved. I'm saved by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. He took my sins away. He washed me white as snow. I'm not who I used to be. I am saved, saved, saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. It has been the blood. It is the blood and it will be the blood forevermore. Your king. If your name 
I pray your heart has been stirred today by the time of worship and that the message has touched you and that you today realize that without the blood of Jesus Christ, the sacrificial blood that he offered for us to cleanse us of our sins, without that, we would be without hope. But because he died on Calvary and offered his blood as the eternal sacrifice for our soul, was buried and rose again, we can come now to him and he ever liveth, the Bible says, to make intercession for us. When we come to him and, and ask forgiveness of our sin and confess our sins to him, he is there knowing knowing well the price that he paid to forgive us and not because of what we have done, but for Christ's sake, we can find forgiveness of our sins. I pray this will be the day. This will be the very moment that you allow Jesus to come into your life and change you, have a born again experience, repent of your sins and ask the Lord to change your life. We'd love to rejoice over the news that you have given your life to Christ, that your name has been written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. I hope you'll contact us this week as the announcer gives the address as we leave the air. Thank you for joining us. Until next week, Lord willing, at this same time, may God bless you. Thank you for joining us today on Evangelistic Outreach Ministries. The fields are white, already to harvest. For more information about this ministry, contact us at Evangelistic Outreach Ministries, 299 Ohio Avenue, New Boston, Ohio, 45662, or toll free at 800-767-8713. You can also visit us online at calvinevans.org.